So now we will see input type checkbox in HTML form. So guys, basically the input tag along with the type attribute that is having the value as checkbox will define a checkbox on the UI. Now guys, what do you mean by checkbox? So basically checkboxes let a user select zero or more options of a limited number of choices. So either you don't have to select any of the options or you can select one option or multiple options as well that is present inside the list of choices as part of checkboxes over here. So guys, let us check this with the help of examples in VS code over here. So previously we had seen the input types that is text and then we had also seen password. We had seen the submit and the reset button over here. And also we had seen the list of radio buttons out of which only one option can be selected. And this is how the page looks like on the UI. Now guys, this is not one of the best designs in HTML. That's because we are having the submit and clear button in between, which should be present at the end of the form over here at the bottom. So guys, what we will be doing is we will move these two buttons that is reset and submit buttons at the end of the form over here. So I'm simply going to cut those lines of code and paste it over here. Now let me just save this file now and try reloading this page. So as you can see, now we are having the submit and the clear buttons at the end. Now guys, what we will do is after this list of radio buttons, we will be having the list of checkboxes as well. So over here, I'll simply remove the extra line break tags over here. And then guys, after the radio buttons, what we will be doing is we will be providing the checkboxes. So over here, simply we will provide the input followed by colon. And then we have something called as checkbox over here. Now guys, this is the emit abbreviation, which is one of the features of the VS code that we are using. If you are using any other editor such as notepad or notepad plus plus, then you have to manually type the entire content inside this tag along with the type attribute for which the value will be checkbox over here. Now guys, let us set the name as vehicle in this case. So we will say vehicle one and then let's say we provide the id as bike over here now guys similarly we will have two more options and these options will be car and boat over here so we will change the name to vehicle 2 and vehicle 3 in this case and the id over here will be car and then the third option it will be boat in this case so we have just set the id that is bike car and boat for all these three options now guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see, we are getting the three checkboxes over here. If you click on them, these are getting selected in this case. Let me provide some line breaks before and after these checkboxes. So over here, we will provide the line break and then over here as well, we have to provide the line breaks so that we can see the checkboxes properly. So let me just reload this page once again. So these are the three options that we can see on the UI. Now guys, it doesn't make sense in order to see only those checkboxes. So we can associate them with the labels as well. So just like how we had done for the radio buttons over here, we will be having the labels for the checkboxes as well. So simply after the checkbox, we need to provide the label. So this label will be for the ID that is bike. So we are going to copy this ID that is bike and provide it as the value for this for attribute to the label so that this particular label tag can be linked to the first checkbox over here so guys we are going to provide the bike and then after providing the value for this for attribute we can simply provide the label so we can say i have a bike now guys similarly we will have the labels for the other two checkboxes as well so we will be providing the line break once again over here after the label and we will simply copy the labels for the car and boat as well and then we will change the ids so for the second checkbox label we will copy the id over here and then we will say i have a car and then this id that is the third option we are going to set it as the for attribute for this last label and then we will say i have a boat in this case so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so now as you can see we have the list of checkboxes over here which are being displayed we can either select zero of them or one or multiple of the options so in this case when we select i have a bike so this option is getting selected and let's say if you have the car as well so you can select this option also that is i have a car so we can click on the label as well in order to select this option so as you can see i have a car is getting selected you can also select i have a boat as well so this option is getting selected over here if you want to deselect any of the options you can click on that particular option once again so 
this option is getting deselected in this case. So guys, this is the main functionality of the checkboxes. Either you can select zero, one or multiple of the options that are present as the list of checkboxes. We can also have the label before the list of checkboxes over here. So what we can do is simply we can have the paragraph in this case and then we can say select the mode of transport that you own. So guys, basically we have a very simple statement over here and then let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser. So as you can see, select the mode of transport that you own and then we have these three options over here. So you can select any of the options based on your choices. So guys, comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is input type button in HTML form. So stay tuned.